Hi, I'm Ingrid. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Bingo. I'm Ingrid. I'm Dana. <laughs> and this is Sans. You say it. <laughs> no, okay, at the same time. One, two, three. The Hungry Birds. Anyways, today we are going to rice. Oh my god, it's so loud. This is the first episode of our food review mini series. Today we're going to Rice Holland to try a viral mango mochi. How do you feel about the location of this dessert place? It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so what's your rating? Location and ambience. He says one. <laughs> I think it's real mango. Yeah. Mm, well, the first bite, you get just uh, the mochi dough thing. And then when you get in the middle, then it just feels like you're eating like a mango. It doesn't taste like a dessert to me. I feel like it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. But I still like it. I'm going to give it um, a 7.3 out of 10. How you get 7.3? Okay, what, okay. Your, what's your rating? Okay, maybe like a, maybe like a 7. 7 out of 10. Yeah. So overall, this is a score. <laughs> Service was good, but Richmond is far since we bus and are from Vancouver, so we don't really think it's worth it to just go for the mochi, and overall not enough to win the ultimate chicken award. Our reviews will be determined on three factors, vibes, service, and taste, all rated out of 10 and if deserving, a potential to win the ultimate chicken award, basically meaning that you should just drop your things and go eat there right now. Okay, where are we going? S surprise dinner that we're gonna review. I don't know where it is yet down this strange alley. Where are we going? Tell me. Razu. All right, Razu. Okay, time to review. Oh, you have to say what you got though? Yeah, I will. I was getting that. This is really good. It tastes really sweet. It's the lychee, what was it called? The lychee drink. We'll put it here. Best alcoholic drink we've ever had. Dylan got the mixed cutlet taishoku, which came with free refills of rice and miso soup, then three cutlets of the day, which I think were pork, fish, and chicken, also an amazing salad and sauces. The portion sizes were huge. I got the surf and turf rice bowl with spice rubbed lobster and self-cooking steak. Listen to that sizzle. Everything tasted great, but the meat was a bit cold even though I was cooking it myself and there wasn't enough space on either of our plates to eat everything efficiently. After dinner, I begged Dylan for dessert and he got me the yuzu parfait. Overall, it was such a fun experience. Upon entering, the servers and hosts welcome you out loud and they also sing for your birthday. It was great service, but our server didn't talk to us that much vibes, music, decoration, those were all super fun and for Japanese it was very authentic but still not enough to win the ultimate chicken award. Thank you so much for watching our Valentine's Day special food re reviews with Ingrid and Chicken and Pingu and Ducky and Dylan. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.